It has been forever and a day since we've seen our next PTL friend, executive chef of the Big Burrito Restaurant Group, Bill Fuller, is with us. Woo! It is so good to see you. It's so great to see you. It has been since February. I cannot believe since it. February. Well, and you know, we got to see some of the inside of your kitchen. You did a couple reports for us, but to see you in person is wonderful. The COVID-20 is all right. <laughs> hey, we all are working with it. It's all good. <laughs> You're coming in it's on the COVID-20. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see that you're well and happy and healthy, and we are making something that's good for you right. and making the most of the last warm days we have. Right, and you know, people like to grill outside, and you know, you know, in the spring, you, I like to grill asparagus and some of the fresh vegetables. In the summer, there's the tomato and the corn that can go on the grill, but now that's all gone. Yeah. So I thought we would grill some seasonal vegetables. So the thing is about vegetables this time of year, I have some cauliflower, some Brussels sprouts, some sweet potatoes, and some uh, baby carrots. Rather than like putting them on and let them grill fast, you kind of got to turn the grill way down yeah. and let them go. So what I did is I tossed it in just a little bit of olive oil with some salt and pepper and just like had the grill all the way down, put the vegetables on and let it get covered and just let them cook. Move them around a little bit. Low and slow as low they and say. Slow. All right. And okay. then, so we had something else. <gasps> Ooh. I skewered some chicken breast. I, chicken breast I marinated with lemon and oregano and some olive oil. And then some steak I diced up with uh, fresh rosemary and garlic. Marinated that last night. Put it on these bamboo skewers, which are... So here's... I'm going to talk about skewers for a minute. Yeah. So you can buy the little cheap round bamboo skewers at the store and skewer things and grill it. But the problem with the round skewers is your stuff, like, spins around when you try to move the skewer. But when it's flat, it holds the meat in place. So as you turn, like, the skewer over, it doesn't... The, the stuff roll just doesn't over. roll yeah. around. And you get, I think I got these seven ninety nine for a hundred on Amazon. Like. That's great. Now you know the other thing too. I wanted to ask you because I see you have meat and vegetables on the skewer over there. Do yes. they cook unevenly? How do you make sure that your chicken is done appropriately when you're cooking mixed vegetables on there and mixed stuff? So I won't put a lot of vegetables on. Like if you put everybody likes to put mushrooms in the end, they all fall off. Right. Cherry tomatoes, they all like explode. But a pepper with a nice chunk of meat about this size, it'll cook. You know, it'll be. Some of them will be mushy, you know, cooked through. Some will be a little crunchy. Right. All right, let's put. So let's do it. I also grilled some jalapenos just I for a little garnish. I saw that. Beautiful. I, I picked those last night, and they they were really hot in August, and they've been getting like more and more mild. So afterwards, when you know we feed this to the rest of the crew, we'll see if anybody wants to take a chance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look how lovely though, and that's like such a nice family plate of food, right? Yeah, and you know you just you plate up a bunch of stuff and put it on the table, and everybody gets what they want to get. That looks lovely. And Bill, while you're plating that up, I really want to talk to you about what you guys have been doing. Mad Max restaurants have been open since restaurants were allowed to reopen. Right. But some of the other big burrito restaurants have not been able to open. You guys made sure out of an abundance of caution to keep things closed. So what are you doing now? So, you know, we, we closed everywhere in the beginning, almost mm -hmm. everywhere, and they reopened things as we went. Um, and then when the state allowed us to go to 50% capacity in June, we opened up a lot of the dining rooms. Right. Um, and then when, when the cases jumped in, in July, it, it, they, shut, they took us down to 25%. And like, the, the restaurants that were in Mad Max, we just had to close. Yeah, like, it's just too hard. Well, it's yeah, really 25% at Altavia, we might, we might get uh, you know, 10 people, 12 right. people in the dining room. So right. now that we're back at 50%, we're getting them reopened. Uh, next week, we're going to reopen the dining room at Casbon Soba. And then the following week, we're going to reopen Altavia, which is closed 100%. And 11, which hasn't been open since March 16th. Oh, my. I think that I was there the weekend before everything you, closed. I think, you were I, there, yeah, I think you were there for, 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 for brunch. brunch. I went to brunch Sunday. with Frankie. That may have been our last date. All right. <laughs> so we're going to finish this. So I have a le lemon vinaigrette. Okay. Which is just some shallots, a lot of lemon juice, good extra oh. virgin olive oil. And so that's going to drizzle down on the meat and onto the veg and make, like, a nice little sauce down there. And um, a little bit of chopped parsley, also from my garden. Beautiful. Purple cabbage, not from my garden. <laughs> and then some feta cheese. So See, this is what we've been missing. David and I and some other PTL members, we've been trying to cook in the kitchen to make up for the loss that we have suffered, but there is nothing quite like Chef Bill Fuller's cooking. And I brought a lot, so everybody <laughs> eats afterwards. Oh, thank you so much, Bill. And we're so glad to hear that the restaurants will be reopening yes. soon. Thank and uh, we're excited, too. It was a tough July and August. Yeah, and I know for your wait staff, too, and a bunch of the employees, the servers, everybody. So thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for and having for us. cooking for us, and it's so good to see you. And we will have the recipe posted on Pittsburgh Today Live. You will also be able to find some more on the restaurant's reopening plan. 
there as well. David, I'll send it back to you.